Hi everyone. Okay, so thank you all for all the likes and everything. It was very nice. Um, I've never done a video like this, so it feels kind of weird talking to nobody right now. Okay, so basically I shot my niece. This is my niece right here. Um, she... So this time of year, I'm in Canada, I could not find any, like, cute buckets anywhere because they only come out in the springtime. So I found, like, a horse feeder bucket. I spray painted it with a matte white, and then I cleaned it out. And then I put my, um, I put hot water in there, um, added the hot chocolate mix. Um, you can also use soy milk powder and cocoa powder, um, and mix together if you don't want as much sugar in it. Um... And then, yeah, so obviously it's a composite, so I'll show you the images so you can kind of see. There's one, two, and three. Um, all this stuff I got from my local winners. Um, they don't have that in the U.S. It's like a home sense, basically. Um, oh, and I got some of them from home sense. Um, those are little balls. In the picture they're really cute um okay so I'll kind of show you how I did this so I'm gonna open Photoshop right now so I took this image um, make sure so my lighting was on the right here so make sure when you take the photo everything is on the right side so the lighting matches the each composite um, okay I'll get started so I used the quick select tool and make it larger. One second. Um, make it larger, and then you're gonna cover the top part. You don't really need the bottom part. Make sure to get that marshmallow. Um, keep going over it as much as you can. It's annoying because their hair is like similar color to the backdrop, so it bleeds out a bit. Um, I'll show you how to get the hair pretty good because that's. A difficult part so just go as close as you can to the edge um, if you want to take it away I'm on a Mac so hold down um, the option and then it takes away um, and get around the hair the bow I'm, I don't really need all that hair there I'm just gonna get a little bit of it just the main part. Um, make sure you get the edges. Make sure you get the um, fingers. Go around. Okay, this should be fine. So you go up to select a mask. So see how horrible the edges look here? Don't look very nice. So usually I put feather at two. One and a half, two, whatever. Um, and then I around the edges to get a better look at the hair so go to refine edges here and then you're gonna go around to the corners and this is really cool so you click drag it around drag 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 and then it kind of gets the fine details of the hair okay so I made a mistake there so I'm gonna go press OK Minus that out. Go back to re select a mask. And keep refining the edge. My computer's a bit hot right now. It's overheating because I've been on Photoshop all day. Sorry if it legs. Go around the edge. Keep going, keep going. You only really need to do this for the hair. Um, I'll go and erase that bit after. Doesn't matter too much around here. Everything seems to be fine. That doesn't matter. I'll just erase that out after. I just kind of want the hair to look more realistic. Press OK. OK, now you're going to copy it to your other page. So Command C. I'm not sure what it is on a window. Command V. Oh, I guess it's control. <laughs> then you're going to transform that smaller. 
I'm not going to get into too much details. I'm just going to give you guys the basics because it's going to take too long. It doesn't normally take me that long. But just get it as perfect as you can. Make sure when you're shooting this too that you're shooting at an angle where it would look good. So if I went any higher, it wouldn't look very good. It wouldn't look realistic in the cup. So you put that back in. See, it could have done a bit better job on the refining the edges there, but if you take your time, smaller brush, whatever, just do the details after. So bring down the opacity on it making sure her hand looks like it's in the right spot. So what I'm doing with this, because I took it at a not so good angle, I'm just going to get rid of her hand. I'm going to erase her hand out there, out of there, it's not a big deal. So then I go around. Um, I'm going to move it down a bit. Go and use the erase tool. Go around and make sure it's at 100%. Get the big parts. And then you're going to go in and get the details. So I don't want her hand, so I'm going to erase that out. Go small as possible. Erase, erase, erase. Remember to erase this part, like any little parts that don't look as good, erase that, okay? These little pieces sticking out. See, these are large images, so people are not going to look in at the details. Um, I do usually get like a, a lot more detail, but since it's a video, I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. Okay, so bring up the opacity a bit, going to keep erasing that arm. Get some of that red cup back in. Okay, so I think it looks okay. You get rid of that part. Oops. I should have just cloned out. I don't really feel like getting the bottom of the cup out right now. So I'm just going to leave it in for now. But usually you can go around the details along the line of the water. Okay, so put it back at 100%, see how it looks. Looks okay. Go around to the details here. And see the white part from... Just kind of erase that little tiny white part along the edge. And there too. I forgot there. Okay, so I'm not gonna get the details here, but usually go in, make it a lot more sharper, lower, um, smaller brush. And then sometimes that's a little ugly there. So just erase some of that. Um, see, I didn't do a good job there, but you guys can go back and fix that. Um, and then, okay, so that's what it looks like so far. You can also clone that out as well. Just not going to do that right now. Um, and then I don't know if you guys have the Greater Than Gatsby collections, but I'm obsessed with them. Um, this is the Newborn collection. And I go down to... Actually, first I'm just going to merge the images together. Merge layers. Zoom in, zoom in. I go down to... Um, Open Eye Enhancer. Play, and I just wait on that. Small, small, small. 
and then put it at, I usually put it at 100%. And I feel like that makes her eyes a lot more bold. And she has a little skin blemishes. So what I actually do is I go around to, where is it, the patch tool. And I patch out all those. I just find it the fastest. Like, there's so many ways to do this. Oops, I'm not on the picture. There's so many ways to do this. There's not really a right or wrong way to do it. It's just everyone has their preferences. Um, just a little agu, whatever, whatever. Those are some of the tools I use. She has a bruise here, so normally I get rid of that, but I'm not doing that right now. You can clone it out, you can lighten it, you can paint over, you can do whatever you want. Um, and then sometimes I'll do the rosy cheeks to give her some more color, make it bigger, definitely bring the opacity down. Cute little cheeks. Um, if they're skinned yellow, I I usually always use the redness replacer, but she seems fine. Um, and then for this one, I put my, my own filters on it. You can choose whatever ones you want there. This is not a paid advertisement either. <laughs> it's how I do mine. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Oh, the shadowing. Okay, that's another thing. Um, okay, so I got rid of the layer already. So normally what I would do... Okay, let's go back a second. Okay. When the other layers were up, I would just go underneath her hand. But since I already merged the layers, I forgot to do the shadow underneath. So I just take the black. Um, do a new layer. Make the make it large, and just do that. Okay, okay. It looks ugly right now, but you go in and erase it around the hand. Like so. And erase it in the background, of course. Um, bring down the opacity a little bit. You can make the shadow darker. She should have been a lot lower. So, guys, I did this super fast. I usually take maybe, it took me about a half an hour to 45 minutes, but I'm trying not to go that far. So next time, bring her down more. So her arm is coming over the edge a bit. Add the shadow in like I kind of just showed you. And since this part is blurry here, the cup is blurry because this part's in focus go over to your blur brush and blur the fingers there and it's not so harsh just the bottom edge of her arm and yeah that's pretty much it super simple looks really cool um and it'll just show you my background where is it Remember to always shoot in raw, guys. Like, always. Always, always, always shoot in raw. raw. So that's what it would look like at the end. That's one I spent a lot more time in. See, the around the edge around the hair looks very realistic. Um, For these, these were tiny little light... Um, Not light bulbs. <laughs> they, they were Christmas bulbs, but they're like miniature ones, and it came with string... And I put it on the background like that, marshmallows, and then I went to dollar store, got the little carpet thing, whatever that's called. And then for this one, same thing, got the balls the same place. That's the same little girl. That's literally the same image I think I just showed you guys. See how I did the shadow there? It was the same what I showed you. I blurred some of this part and blurred some of the edge of the cup here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, everyone.